Hey guys, happy Friday. Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to another five weekly favorites. First, from Trader Joe's, we have the When Life Gives You Lemons Make Ice Cream. Lemon ice cream with lemon swirl and shortbread cookie bits. I heard about this on the podcast and was so excited. I feel like that podcast episode came out like a month ago and it took like a month to find this in stores and it is so good. If you like lemon, and I mean like actual lemon, like the tartness of lemon, mm -hmm. you will love this. The um, I love lemon flavored in anyway. My mouth is watering. The I know, lemon, I'm really hungry. The lemon swirl in here is like so tart, like more tart than a traditional lemon meringue pie. I would say it's equivalent to the tartness of lemon in maybe like a pastry, if that makes sense. Um, and the shortbread cookie bits are like a really nice texture and overall it's super creamy. It's so refreshing. We, it's so amazing. Yeah, and we love Trader Joe's ice cream in general, but they yeah. don't really release a lot of new flavors. Like they that don't. peanut butter chocolate one ended up being so good too. They talked about on the podcast how their ice cream, they said a lot of other brands like whip air into the ice cream because how you're charged as like a supplier is by volume, not by weight. So a lot of other brands will like whip air to get to like to fill up the container and Trader Joe's doesn't do that. So their ice cream is more dense. They said like pick up a pint of ours and a pint of a competitor's and like a competitor will feel lighter, which I thought was really interesting and just makes me love them more that they put out quality products time after time. Try it. Okay, we have a lot of favorites that we used in Palm Springs yeah. last weekend. So I'll go over this first. We also have like horrendous, yeah. um, I guess like burns. <laughs> well, it's been like a week and I still have this one. And I was even like mm -hmm, peeling right on here. my forehead, but that's done. It's really yeah. just this. Thankfully my face, I wore a hat so I didn't get burned. But we must have just like both forgot to apply sunscreen here. Yeah, I, I don't know. even know. Or where the sun was hitting us. I know. Who even knows? How weird. We have like matching burns. Yeah, it's super weird. Um, but this stuff really protected our lips and I had to mention it because it's only I think $5 on Amazon and it's the Vanna Cream Lip, Lip Protectant slash Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Water Resistant 80 Minutes and it's basically just a well there's zinc and titanium dioxide actually I didn't realize that. And dimethicone is like the base. Mm -hmm. And so it makes your lips really like pink and mm -hmm. white so it looks kind of like a like old school like 90s lip yeah. like, pink lip gloss when it's on but this stuff works so well at protecting our lips because if you know like it's really hard to remember to put SPF on your lips yeah. and we were in the sun for hours and yeah. as mentioned Bruno burned her face uh, we were in parts well, of our body. it was body. really just the top of my forehead. We yeah. were like diligent about putting sunscreen. We were. Uh, we were reapplying a lot. Yeah. That's why we were surprised we got like some burns but this really worked. Like we both didn't get any burned lips. Our boyfriends used it too and it's so cheap. And if you can get over that like pink white cast, mm -hmm. I think this is great. We also, but prior to going to Palm Springs, I didn't want to bring a physical book even though I still love physical books. And so I downloaded a couple books on the Kindle and I was like, well, I don't want the Kindle. I know that it's technically waterproof, but I didn't want it to get dirty. I didn't want to get like greasy sunblock on it. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm just going to order like a cheap Kindle case on Amazon. It was like $13. I don't even know the, the brand is, well, we got different ones. We got different ones. We were going to mention though. Mine is Fenty, Fenty? I'll link it below. But I liked that it didn't have any branding like on the outside. It's just a faux leather and I love having a case on this. I feel like it like again protects the cover from getting like dirty and it makes it look like sleeker. Yeah. And I, it's really easy like you can just open it and it's still easy to read. I don't know. I love it. And I'm like yeah. why didn't I have a case this whole time? I know. I got one by the brand Kobach um, and it is branded on the outside but I don't mind it. Um, and yeah, mine's really nice too. It just feels sturdy. It was also like $13, mm -hmm. so very cheap. Um, I do have a complaint though. I felt like while searching for a Kindle co cover, I wanted something mm -hmm. like a little bit unique and like a cute color. Yeah. There is nothing. Yeah. If anyone wants to start a chic Kindle cover business, highly recommend. Yeah, I would be a customer. Do. Because we can't start another business or we would do it. I know. I looked high and low on Amazon and I just ended up being defeated getting a black one. And it's nice. It's a nice cover. But I just think there's a lot of room for improvement mm -hmm. in that space. Okay, another favorite from Palm Springs. Well, that was just the first time I wore these, but these mm -hmm. are the Zara Mules that Carly has in black, and we both got them in this cream color um, because we thought it was really pretty for spring and summer, and I wore them in Palm Springs like to dinner. They're super comfortable to walk in. 
um, this is real leather, I believe. It's like a really thin leather, so it's pretty stretchy. Like, it's almost a little bit too wide for yeah, my Yeah, I was going to say the black ones I have, I don't know if they're exactly the same because they fit my foot a little bit tighter, which I okay. like. These ones are a bit looser, so yeah, just be aware. Yeah, narrow feet. Mm -hmm. um, but I love them. They're super comfy. I wore them to a concert last night. had no issues mm -hmm. with standing in them. They have, like, the block heel. I Square like, toe. Yeah, they just look really chic, but you can dress them up or down. They're only $50. Go they're get great. them. Okay, and then last is our show favor. I don't, we haven't talked about this at all, right? I looked and I don't think we did. Okay, the thing about Pam on Hulu. Well, it's well, on. Well, no, it's technically Peacock. Oh, you're right. But Peacock, we watch it on NBC. Hulu, don't we? We try to watch it on Hulu. YouTube TV on Peacock or oh. NBC. Well, I swear it's on Hulu. It, as well. it came on the other day after This Is Us. It's on NBC. Okay. On television, apparently. Yeah. But it's the thing about Pam, starring Renee, Renee Zellweger as Pam, and she's basically this like a Midwestern housewife. Like, well, she has a business of flipping houses. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's true. So her and her husband have this house flipping business, and they lived in Florida, like it seems like their whole like children's lives. And yeah. they moved to Missouri. How she say it? How she say it? Was there? I can't say. Yeah. Her she accent has is so okay. By the way, accent. I have to th throw this out there. My second favorite movie of all time is New in Town. If you guys have seen it, you know it, you love it. And Renee Zellweger was in that movie as well, but she's the outsider that comes she's from the Florida. City girl. The city gal from Florida that goes to Minnesota. Mm -hmm. And the Minnesota Minnesotian accents yeah. in that film is like what she's adapted in yeah, Pam. It's hilarious. And I love it. Yeah, she the strong Midwestern accent. Yeah. Which I don't I, we're from Wisconsin, and there's a, a strong accent there. In Missouri, is are there accents really so that strong? I, all I know about Missouri is that Jenna Fisher is from St. Right. Louis. And her and Angela on Office Ladies podcast oftentimes pick out whenever Phyllis or Pam would like their St. Louis that accent. That is true. But I don't think it's Pam's accent. Yeah, I know. Because her it's very like Wisconsin, Minnesota, yeah. in my opinion. But anyways... It's, it's a true story based on this lady, Pam, and it was a podcast. Um, well, first it was a Dateline special that the host of Dateline, what is his name? I forget his voice. Well, you so know great. his voice. Yeah. That he, um, well, they profiled this lady in Missouri that had, like, all these strange, strange deaths happen around her, and, like, a lot of them appear to be her fault, but she wasn't convicted, and they mm -hmm. kind of just, I don't want to give too much away, so I'm being very vague. Um, but then they turned it into a podcast, I think in like 2018. Yeah. And we both listened to the podcast and loved it. And now it's a show starring real, real people. Josh Jumel is in it and he's so good. So good. I've never really been like impressed with his acting skills. Everybody does a really good Until job. this show. Yeah. Judy Greer is in it as well. Yeah, she does a really good job. She's always good. Though. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so it's just based on the true story. And so if you Google what happens, you can know what happens. But they go through all the trials um, for like the multiple deaths and murders mm -hmm. that happened that she was involved in. And you just sort of see how it plays out. And it's really, she does a phenomenal you job. You like can't it. turn away. I don't know why it like, I we love the podcast, but the show is so good. I know. I Our boyfriend said it like bothers, like they can't like stand how she gets away with yeah. all of this behavior. And so like it's hard for them to watch, but we just feel like well, we know what happened. So yeah. you're like really invested. You're like, oh, this is great. Um, we love it. It's yeah. really good. That's our show favorite of the week, past few weeks actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think we're posting this a day early, but we didn't have a weekly favorites last week, so hopefully that's fine. Mm -hmm. um, but we hope you have a great weekend, and we'll see you next week.